Thank you all so much. I just want to start off by acknowledging traditional owners of the land on which we are here today. And as a writer and journalist and Jewish man who's written about this issue for years, seeing what is happening here at Sydney University and across the world is remarkable and inspiring. So I want to start off by first acknowledging the organisers of this, whoever you are, I know there's a number of you here, to say, let's put our hands together to say congratulations for doing this. Because seeing this kind of solidarity between here, the US, and obviously what's happening in Palestine is significant and important and actually historical because in so many ways what's being said here connects to what is Sydney University and many Australian universities are doing, largely out of the public eye, namely working with some of the worst arms dealers in the world. Sydney University in the last years has signed deals with Talos, which is one of the worst arms dealers on the planet. And the idea that that is done without public conversation, frankly without controversy, speaks volumes about why talking about this collusion is so important. We're seeing across the world, really, led in some ways by what's happening in the US, at Columbia and many other universities, a real generational fight for what is happening in Palestine, a massacre on a scale, in my view, and I would say inarguable view, far worse than what happened in 1948. This is the scale we are talking about. The death and destruction in Palestine now, in the last six months, is worse than 1948. 1948 was the Nakba, as everyone here would know, the catastrophe which saw the displacement of 750,000 Palestinians, the death of roughly 15 to 20,000 Palestinians. Think about what's happening now to Palestinians in Gaza. 35, 40, maybe 45,000 Palestinians have been killed in the last six months. Yay! Millions have been displaced. And this is what the supporters of that want not to be talked about. To talk about everything else, the allegation that these kinds of protests in Australia, in the US or elsewhere, are somehow infused with anti-Semitism is a blatant lie and needs to be called out yeah. constantly yeah. because that collusion is an aim to distract from what is happening in Palestine, which is a slaughter done, I feel, in my name as a Jew. Now, obviously, I'm anti-Zionist. Israel does not speak for me. But Israel claims to speak for all Jews around the world. And it's important to say that so many Jewish people, growing numbers of Jewish people, especially young Jews, are saying, not in my name. This does not, this does not speak for us. And are partnering with Palestinians and various other groups to say, not in my name. So I would just finish by saying that these kinds of events and protests are important to be supported. There should be massive pressure on Sydney University and frankly all universities in Australia that are openly, although often quite privately, colluding with the worst arms dealers on the planet. And the idea that a university can get away with that is shameful. Yeah. So, in conclusion, I would just say that I am proud to be here in solidarity with this um, with the organisers, and more importantly, to say that we are seeing what is happening in Palestine, and there is no turning back, no coming back from what Israel is doing in Palestine. You do not kill 35, 45,000 Palestinians in six months and think that it is business as usual. It is not. What is needed now, more than ever, which is being talked about in Australia, in the US, elsewhere, are arms embargoes, yeah. boycotts, sanctions. Yeah. What eventually brought down apartheid South Africa in 1994 was not because white South Africans woke up one day and went, gee, this apartheid's pretty awful. There were some white opponents of apartheid, to be sure, but the vast majority were not. And what 
brought down that regime, apart from, of course, unbelievably inspiring ANC work in South Africa, was global action. Were protests, were boycotts, were sanctions, were arms embargoes. That is needed against Israel today. I'll leave that with you. Thank you. Thanks so much for that, Antony. I just think he deserves another round of applause again.